Welcome back to Ingvid with me, Benjamin. Today, we're looking at phrasal verbs to do with driving. If you're coming to the UK, US and English speaking country, you may well find yourself getting in a car. So being able to use one of these phrasal verbs could benefit you. Also, to work on your fluency for an IELTS speaking, this may well help. So, my son is really into the Beach Boys. So, in my imagination, we are going over to California today and we're going to be hopping in a car and going surfing. We're going to go to the beach. But, en route, we are going to need to pick up the surfboards. So, as we're going, we, we pick up. So, this is something we're picking up, we are collecting. We need to collect the surfboards. At the surfboard hire shop, we see some friends and we offer to give them a ride, okay? Um, give here sort of means provide. I'll write that. To provide a lift, to act as a taxi. They ask, our friends, if they can be dropped off en route. So they don't want to come all of the way to the beach. They want to stop beforehand. We are going to drop them off. That just means they get out of the car. Okay, drop. We drop them out of the car and onto the pavement or sidewalk if you're in North America. I did ask them though, once they got in the car, to buckle up. I know we're going to the beach, but even so, it's important to be safe. Now in England, we can use this phrase um, to mean sort your behavior out. So if a child is being a bit naughty, you could say buckle up. It just means start behaving. Buckle up, be safe, be secure, be proper. Obviously, I'm really excited that the waves are there on the beach is going to be a good day surfing. So I'm, I'm revving the engine because I want to get there. Okay, so rev, short for revolution, the engine is going round and round. That's from me putting my foot on the accelerator, revving the engine. The car's not yet moving. I'm just feeling the engine. I'm, I'm getting to grip, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying the mechanics of the car. F1's ready. We've dropped off our friends en route. My friend Harry is in the car. We have our surfboards. We need to get there. So I'm going to put my foot on the pedal if I'm using the UK version of the phrasal verb. Which pedal am I putting on? Not the brake, not the clutch, the accelerator. I want to go there. If I was in North America, perhaps I would say, put your pedal on the gas, okay? but we call gas petrol. Right. I don't know if you've watched my video on um, how to tell a good story, but it involved running out of petrol. It seems to be a recurring theme. Recurring mean to happen again and again. Oh dear, there's no petrol. So we need to pull in, pull in. We go to the side to a petrol station, a gas station to get some more petrol. Okay, pull in means to turn in. We're making a pit stop. This comes from Formula One racing where the racing drivers get some assistance to the side of the track. Okay, the tires get changed. The driver takes, I, does he take his helmet off? I don't know, I don't watch it. But it means um, to be ready for the next stage of the journey. I fill up the car with the petrol, put the nozzle in, put the nozzle, the silver bit in, Petrol goes in, the car fills up with petrol and off we go. Oh look, at the traffic lights, there's some other friends who have also got surfboards and they're going to the beach too. We draw up level with them. So there we are, we're at the traffic lights and we draw up, it means we become level with. So we're both driving open top cars, okay? And we say, first one to the beach wins. Obviously, we're going to obey 
all the uh, national restrictions on speeding, but we may wish to overtake a car if it was going particularly slowly. Overtake means to go around so that you can continue driving at the safe speed that you want to drive at, which is just a little bit faster than this car here. A bad driver would cut someone off. So this car is going that way, but they would overtake in such a way that this car kind of had to stop here because they would cut in, they would cut in to their path. That's not good driving. We're not doing that. We're having a nice drive to the beach. Okay, to be in the fast lane. Okay. In the UK, the left lane is the slow lane. If you want to overtake, you go into this lane, the right hand lane to overtake. To be in the fast lane means you're going slightly faster. But we can also use this in a more general use. To, to be in the fast lane means you're going places. You're a successful person. You get to travel around the world. You're doing well. Now, my friend starts giving me some advice whilst I am driving. He says, turn left there. Now, if someone is giving advice to the driver and telling them how to drive, it means they are being a back seat driver. Obviously, you can't drive the car from the back seat. You have to be in the front seat. So it means giving instructions from the back. Oh no, there's something out in the road in front. <laughs> Slam on the brakes. Slam. That implies a violent, sudden movement. I suddenly put the brakes on. Oh dear, I have run over a rabbit, okay? Obviously the car's not running, but the phrasal verb run over, over, go over the top, run over, you've knocked it over, okay? We've got some roadkill, you've killed the rabbit. I'm so upset that I've killed this rabbit that I need to pull over. Hope we've learned something from today's lesson. Let's have a quick revise to pick someone up en route, give them a ride, give them a lift, drop them off where they want to go, Buckle up, put that seatbelt on, and mind your behavior too. Rev the engine, but don't behave like an idiot. Put your foot on the gas or the pedal to go a bit faster. Pull in when you need to, at a safe place. Make a pit stop, okay? Get necessary supplies, have a quick cup of coffee, fill up with petrol, draw up level with the other car. Avoid cutting people off, but overtake if you need to. To be in the fast lane, you're going places. To be a backseat driver, very annoying. Slam on the brakes, if it's safe to do so. Have you run something over? I hope not. It's time to pull over and pull in to the next lesson. Until next time, drive safe.